segment, you will have a chance to think deeply about how learning in health and physical education is balanced, integrated, and connected to real life. We will hear from educators about how making these connections is important for the overall well-being of students. Teaching the students that if they continue to be involved in activity and healthy living, then that could be a benefit for them for their entire life. If we can you know, understand that that real world, like what, what the material we're teaching our students is going to help them be better citizens of our, of our whole community, that's the key. I can only hope that what we're doing with the students now will carry on for the rest of their days. The learning should be balanced, offering a variety of activities for learning and addressing the full range of student needs, physical, cognitive, social, and emotional. The learning should also be integrated, helping students understand connections across the curriculum with what they are learning in active living, healthy living, movement competence, and living skills. We're doing health in language as part of media literacy. We're doing grade seven and eight health, like some of the healthy development curriculum as part of their science. They're learning that these things are not existing as independent little pockets. We work as a unit, right? Or that's how our bodies function. And so I think we need to teach to the whole student so that they have the ability to say, this is what's going on. Um, physically, this hurts, and how does that affect my mental health? So they're intertwined, and we talk about integrating curriculum, and I think we need to make sure that we do that for kids, and understanding their physical literacy isn't just about can I play a sport, it's who I am as a person and how I interact in this society. The strategies that they're going to use to keep themselves safe and on the right path are the same strategies that they're going to use to keep themselves safe when they're involved in physical activity. I want them to make connections between physical activity and active living and protective factors that will keep them thriving in their life. So it's really important as health and physical educators that we don't see it as health, physical education. We need to really understand where it all weaves in and help our students weave those in together. Health is not something that we do sort of once in every two week cycle or we sit down once a week and we do it. We're talking about health concepts all the time because health is a part of physical literacy. Just the same way as physical literacy is a part of health. What it does is it creates year-long conversations and student wellness and, and whole child wellness can then really take kind of center stage and become central to those conversations all year long and we can continually come back to those. Before moving on, let's take a moment to pause and ponder. What are some approaches that can help students connect what they're learning in the gym, classroom and outdoors to their lives outside of school? I want my students to understand that so you're not in school for 12 years and then, then you're going to go into life you're in it now. In my classroom what we've done before is I taught them the can, uh, Canadian food, uh, the food guide, but also there's something called the Canadian food guide for First Nations, Inuit and Métis people. So I've showed them both of those food guides and we've compared it and talk about the reality of their location. From the school it's about 45 minutes to the nearest grocery store. So I had my students make that uh, food schedule using traditional food items that they have and what they know how to cook or they is traditional in the community. Great teachers are out there. They're, they're in the hall. They are connecting with kids. They're, they're connecting with kids right when they get off the bus. They're connecting with kids when they, when they arrive at the classroom. They're saying goodbye at the end of the day. They're remembering neat little stories about things that, that, that the, the student has told them in the past. They connect with their community. They, uh, they really take an interest and uh, want to, to be part of that. And I think when they do that, it, it makes all the difference in the world because w from that place of relationship comes a, a place of trust where kids feel like this is a great space for me to be in and I can become the best person I can be because of that. Educators are helping students find their place and learn to contribute to their local and global communities. This learning needs to reflect today's complex, technology-enabled, rapidly changing world. They're always coming to class with earphones on. I'm like, how can I use that for learning? So I, you know, I sat in my, my living room under some pillows and, and I created these MP3s for all the bones and muscles so that they could go home or be on, you know, around their friends with their earphones in, no one knowing that they're actually studying and go through you know, the, the, the material that they needed to learn. It's neat because they, they really use it and I, I created it for maybe one or two kids and next thing you know it's, it's spread and, and it's, you know, every year they, when I bring it out again they're like, oh yeah, we've heard about these so it's kind of neat to, to know it's connected. Um, you know, you could look at a page, but now you're also, look, you know, you're hitting that auditory learner. 
Anytime I do use technology, I always want to make sure it is authentic and meaningful and that the technology itself doesn't take away from the learning. I think it's important for students to be able to see the enjoyment and the fun in what we're doing and also make those connections beyond the classroom to the rest of their life. Learning in health and physical education is highly relevant to students' lives today and in the future. For additional support regarding the health and physical education curriculum, visit teachingtools.ophia.net.